What's up, YouTube? Back with another banger video, as always. Today, I'm going to be coming at you guys with another top 10. I know I did that yesterday, but I'm going to be doing it again, boy. You're, you see, I got that Stranger Things shirt on. That should give it away. Top 10 favorite TV shows of all time. Now, before I get into this video, make sure you hit a the subscribe button because if you do because if you don't do that you're not cool no one loves you but if you do do that thank you thank you for supporting the channel um we're almost to 300 subs I'm trying to get to a thousand so i can go live for you guys and so i can get paid you know i can get i mean I just, I, I don't care about the money as much. I just want to go live. I love going live on videos. But anyway, besides all that, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And um, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified for my latest videos like one of these. So anyway, let's get into the video. Starting at number 10. We got South Park. Now, I like South Park, and I really like th the portrayal of Cartman. Cartman's very funny. I like Butters. Butters is cool. I, I also like, um, like all the main characters, like Stan. Not so much Stan and Kyle, but, and Kenny, but I like, I like Stan, Kyle, Kenny, um, Cartman, Jimmy, Butters, those guys, hilarious. Especially Jimmy, Jimmy, where he said, um, where he joined the Crips, uh, where he joined the Crips, right? So, he's like, cause his mom and dad were like worried, and he's like, mom, Stop dissing my N words. It's hilarious. I mean, I mean, it, it is very racist. It's very racist. But they don't care. It's so funny though that they don't care because South Park is has came such a long way from like I think 1998 to still like they're still doing episodes. I really love South Park, and I love it how Cartman, you really can't understand what he's saying, but sometimes you can. Like, there was this one episode where he's, like, on the couch, eating some popcorn, and he's watching a movie, and his mom's, and his mom walks up to him and says, Eric, it's time for bed. And he's like, not right now, Mom, I gotta watch this movie. And she's like, Eric, go to bed now. He pulls out a gun, and he's like, I'm not going to bed. I'm finishing the movie. Go back. Go to bed. And turn the lights off. I'm staying up. And then she's like, Eric, you marched right up to your room. And then he's like, I don't think so, ma'am. And then she's like, Eric, you get your butt to bed. He's like, no, there ain't no bit of cash, me. <laughs> and then she pulls out a gun and says, I told you to go to sleep right now. He's like, well, mom, what the hell? And it's just hilarious. I also love it how much of a wussy Cartman is. I like it how he's like, bit me. And he always tries to act tough and stuff. Kind of like someone I know, but I'm not going to mention them. But still. It's just... It's hilarious. But yeah, South Park. That's my number 10. Coming at you guys with number 9. We have The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I used to watch this when I was younger. I don't watch it as much, but... I like Will Smith's portrayal as 
uh, I forgot his name. I haven't watched that show in a long time, but still, I like the I like the um intro of it. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all, shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, my mom got scared and said, you move in with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. That is great. It's awesome. I I love the intro. I mean, I feel like I I think I can sing like the whole song, but I'm not going to do it now cuz I already sung a lot. So, anyway, I love the short guy. I can't remember his name either. But still, I like how like I felt bad for Will Smith after the show where Uncle Phil he passed, R.I.P. But, um, I feel bad for Uncle Phil. And, yeah, I just love, I love how, f like, so, s it's like, I love it. I, I, just, I just love the show. It's so funny. It's not so funny, but it is funny. And it's a good show. It's a, it's a good comedy and Stuff, yeah. It's a good comedy. But yeah. That was my number nine. Coming at you guys with number eight. Number eight. We got Marlon. The show Marlon. With Marlon Wayans. It is hilarious. I've watched both seasons. Finished the whole show. I binged it. For like a week. I finished, like, the whole show in, a, like, two weeks. I I don't know. But I love how funny Marlon Wayans is. I love that um, he's parenting two kids. And then when he was a basketball coach for his son's um, basketball league, He's like, son, when you're playing basketball and the coat and the ref ain't looking, just give him a little ball thump when they have a when they have the ball. Just thump them right in the balls. And that's not good advice. And then he's teaching his daughter how to drive and she's like and he's like No, she accidentally ran a red light and he's like, It's only illegal when you get caught. And I'm like and I'm like, Pfft. it was just so funny. And then when he said, or his daughter said that she's getting picked on at school, he was, he was like, um, all you have to do is act a little ghetto. And she's like, and, he, and then he's like, Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I know. This is what I wanted you to do. And she gets suspended for doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah. Marlon, great show. You guys should watch it. Funny. Very, very funny. But yeah. That was my number eight. Coming in at you. Guys, with number seven. Number seven. Rick and Morty. Now, Rick and Morty's a funny show. I like, I like that when, um, like, I loved it when Freddy came in there. Like, why? It was like, Um, I forgot his name, like, but it was just so funny, cause he, 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 they like, I think Rick called him like a testicle or something, I, I, I don't know, but 
Rick and Morty is just funny. But I like how much of a wussy um I like how much of a wussy Morty is and how much of a badass Rick is and he's just like he's always like come on Morty like he's just like saying come on Morty come on like trying to get him he's like oh, uh, uh, I don't know Rick and it's just it's, just, it's so stupid but still it's a good show I suggest watching it it's on um max but I really like how much that show has been an impact on Adult Swim and yeah I watch Adult Swim but obviously why wouldn't I I'm not stupid I'm joking I'm joking but um yes Adult Swim it most of their shows are hilarious or most of them are hilarious yeah but yeah Rick and Morty is my number seven coming at you guys with number six we have Bob's Burgers I like Bob's Burgers because it's so sarcastically funny. And I like, I like, uh, I like Gene, the little, uh, the kid, the boy. Gene, I think his last name is Burger, yeah. I think their last names are Burgers. But. Actually, I don't know, but still, I like how, like, sarcastic he is. He's like, if you ever seen the movie, Bob, the Bob's Burgers movie, it's really good. You guys should go check it out. He, he's like, the oldest daughter, I, I can't remember her name, but the oldest daughter is like, um, <sighs> ew. That's evidence. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be having the tooth of the dead guy. And she's like, You shouldn't be having that. That's evidence. And then Jean's like, You can't handle the tooth. It's, it's so funny. And... Yeah. I like Bob... Bob's portrayal in the show. He's pretty cool. A little, he's laid back and he's just it's just so silly it's very sarcastic I think that's on um, Hulu same with Family Guy Family Guy's on Hulu too but yeah also South Park's on Max too so check it out but yeah I really like Bob's Burgers Bob's Burgers is a really cool show it's also on Adult Swim I think it's like it runs before Family Guy. But, yeah. Bob's Burgers is a really good show. Plus, I love burgers myself. Just absolutely love them. But, yeah. That would be my number six. Coming at you guys with number five. Halfway there. Right here. Stranger Things. Stranger Things is such a good show. And I like it. I like the fourth season with my, my all right. My favorite seasons of this show would have to be number four would be my least favorite season. Number two, then number one, number four, then three. Cause I love three because it had Billy. Billy is I I love Billy. He's my favorite character out of the whole show. I like him more than Eddie. I like him more than anyone. But Eddie is second. I love Eddie. He's pretty cool. I love his relationship that he has with Dustin. And then like where he did like that that was so famous when this that shows 
uh, that season came out. That was just so famous. I remember seeing like a lot of girls getting the Hellfire um, shirts at school. The Hellfire Club shirts at school. And yeah, it's just, I like how good it is. But one thing I don't like about the show is that they, is that they don't kill off the main characters. And it's just stupid. Like, I really wanted Will to die in season four. Because I don't like Will. He doesn't have a purpose. Like, literally. But neither does Mike. Because he all he does is... I like Mike more than um Will. Because all he does... Will... All he does is just... <laughs> That's all he does is cry and stuff. And he's, he's just a waste of character there could be so much more better characters in season four um max should have died as well because uh vecna should have killed her i mean he always killed like chrissy wake up he killed chrissy and she went like, she went like that her bones were like she went like it's just, it's idiotic how stupid they kill off secondary characters more than better, like, first, like, main characters. Like, sh she should have died, Will should have died. I, I, I hope Will dies in the, um, season five, because I don't like Will at all. But, the, the whole thing is about Will. And I'm like... I just found out that the whole thing was about Will, and I'm like, why though? Why? If you're, it's, it's a, it's supposed to be about everyone, dude. It's stupid. It's idiotic how stupid it doesn't kill off people like that. Now the thing about my next one is that they kill off main characters, but I'll get to that later. Stranger Things, like Jim Hopper. Awesome. Jim Hopper is one of the greatest characters of all time in that show. And I love it how Jim Hopper, like, in season four, he, like, he's just a badass in that with a shaved head. If I'm being honest with you, I got an inspiration by that, so I just shaved my head, so. Or I got inspired by that, so. I shaved my head once. Oh, well, I didn't, but I got my head shaved. <laughs> I liked it how Jim Hopper had his head shaved, but still, I liked Eddie, where he played Enter the Sandman. That was awesome. That was awesome. I was like, yes, yes, yes. And I did not like how, well, actually, no, I did like how in season four, Robert England was in there, the guy that played Freddy Krueger. I liked how he was in there. It was awesome, man. It was awesome. Like, no doubt about it. It was awesome. Like, I thought he was going to play Vecna for, at first, but look, at he had no eyes. Literally, no eyes. I'll say it again. No eyes. Literally. He was like this, the whole movie. It was... Not the movie, um, the show. My bad, my bad. But the whole fourth season. And I hope someone like Eddie and, uh, Billy comes into the season five because I want someone like that. Because I really liked both of them. But yeah, I really liked... I really like Stranger Things. I like it how good some actors are in it. Like, Dustin. I love Dustin. He's so cool. I don't care that he has a lisp and no teeth and stuff. I don't care. But I really like Dustin. He's funny. He's very funny. Lucas, again. I, I, I mean, I like Lucas, but he doesn't show any purpose in the, the season four. Like, he doesn't really show that much purpose. But in season one through three, he does. But Will did not show any purpose at all in any of the seasons. 
I, I mean, yeah, yeah, he was good in, like, the first season when he was younger, but until the second season he wasn't even in, third season he was back in it with his ugly hair. I mean, the real monster in the Stranger Things franchise is Will's Barber, literally. So, yeah. I really like Stranger Things. I like Jim Hopper. Also, the Demogorgon. Pretty cool. Where Hopper was fighting the Demogorgons. That was badass. Like, that scene was awesome. Badassery. So much badassery right there. But, yeah. Stranger Things was my number five. Coming in at number four. Which is a show I haven't finished yet. But I'm, co I'm going on to season eight. The Walking dead i love the walking dead it is so addicting i love the portrayal of rick grimes rick grimes like oh just a ghoul i'm so surprised that andrew lincoln did not get it he got robbed of an academy award he he sh should have won an academy award for how good his acting was in this especially in season five through set uh season th five through nine i mean I, even though i haven't seen the whole show i've seen clips of how great acting how great of an actor he is but yes i i loved andrew lincoln's character rick grimes i loved daryl daryl dixon i mean and negan man <sighs> Don't even get me started on that guy. I love him, but he is insane, dude. He's crazy. Uh, spoiler ahead here. They kill off main characters, unlike um, Stranger Things. They killed off Glenn and Abraham in the beginning of season 7. That was so gruesome how Negan did that with Lucille. He just bashed her, their head in so much that it was like a flat dead squirrel on the concrete. It was so insane. And Negan is just brutal, ruthless. He does not care at all. Now, Rick, on the other hand, if Rick Grimes met Negan... Like, season five, Rick? Nah, um, yeah, about season five, Rick. That would have been really good. And I also have a thing. Who would win? Rick Grimes or Jim Hopper? Ooh. But, yeah. Yeah. I, I love Negan's personality, how funny he is. He says to Beta, um, like, calm your tits there, Jolly Green Giant. He also says, I think this is the, no, it's not in the spinoffs, it's in the later seasons. He's like, um, did you just trip me? What are you, 12? <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. Negan's humor here, and he's like, not making a decision is a big decision. Or, he just has punchlines after punchlines. Hot diggity dog. This place is magnificent. Or, this is the kind of thing that just tickles my balls. I mean, oh my god, he's just so funny. But, also, what I like about Negan is, yeah, like I said, his personality. He, he says more punchlines. He's like, I just slid my down your throat to Rick. He says, because tomorrow is going to be a big day. And he's like, stupid little name Rick, thought he knew, but didn't know. Suck ass, Rick. And you pushed me, Rick. Holy crap. You are creepy as... <clears throat> he 
He says that to Father Gabriel. But yeah, I mean, I love Negan. I know how crazy and psychotic he is, but I love Negan. He's so cool. But yeah, I love a few other characters like uh, Shane Walsh. I miss Shane Walsh. I liked Abraham. I liked Daryl, obviously. Who doesn't like Daryl? I mean, Daryl's a badass character with that crossbow. If he didn't... Nah. I mean, I like the crossbow. The crossbow is so legendary. I actually am starting to read the comics of The Walking Dead. This is the first one. But... There's so much different things... That are like so much, it's so much different from the show. Like, look, that's Lori, Carl, and Rick. This is Glenn in there, right here. That's Rick. I mean, there's just, it's just so different. And stuff but yeah there is my number four coming at you guys with top three number three trailer park boys i know some people are gonna be like well uh stranger things and the walking dead and everything else on your list is way better than the trailer park boys and, uh, the fact is, no, it's not. Trailer Park Boys is just straight, dark humor, comedy, and just, it's just hilarious. Ricky and Bubbles, oh my god. You don't get better than that duo. That duo is hilarious. I, Ricky is just so funny, and he's like, to Randy, the greasy, cheeseburger-eating, fat, big gut guy, with no shirt because he's allergic to fabric on the wa um the waist up, and he's like, "Listen here, Randy," or something. He says something like that, but he's also like, "Um, you're a cow brain tit dummy." I mean, who who says that to people? It's just so stupid. And he's always in jail. He likes smoking weed, and it's just like he always has a gun on him. He always robs people. He, he literally went in the store and just to rob someone with money in his pocket. He went in the store to rob someone with money in his pocket. And he said, give me some cigarettes. And, uh, you have money in your pocket. Come on. And Bubbles, he's, he's just so, like, he's just funny. He's like with his kitties. He loves kitties. And he's always like, yeah, hey, kitty, come, kitty, come, kitty, 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 He's like, that's his kitty call. Like, if any of the kitties get lost. But, yeah, I love Bubbles and I love Ricky. Julian, not so much. He's more of a serious, laid-back type of chill guy. But he's far from chill. He's a badass, basically. Well, he's not that bad, much of a badass, but he's like... N no. <laughs> then they had this puppet named Conky. Ricky hated that. He's, um, because Bubbles would always, always, like, screw with them, basically. And be like, Ah, Ricky! Ricky! Ah. And he's always, Bubbles, took off! With that Conky blade. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> But I would definitely suggest to watch that show. And, yeah. It's just so funny. I've watched every single episode, every single season, every single movie of the Trailer Park Boys. Every single show of the Trailer Park Boys. I mean, everything. But, yes. That's my number three. Coming at you guys with number two. We're almost to number one, baby. 
Family Guy. I've been watching Family Guy since I was four years old. And I know that's pretty bad, but Family Guy is so funny. I love Stewie Griffin. I can even do an impression of Peter Griffin, Stewie Griffin, um, Lois, um, Herbert the Pervert. I mean, just a lot of people. A lot of people. I love Family Guy. I all right. This is my impression of Peter Griffin. Yeah, grouch. You can't swim. Yeah, I didn't have my hands down my pants. And then uh, Stewie, I like blueberries and my pancakes. What the deuce? Blah. Blast. Damn you, vile woman. Blast. What the deuce? But, um, yeah. I love it how Stewie Griffin beats the ever-living hell out of Brian every single time. Like, literally. There was this one sh show, I there was this one episode, um, I think it was, like, season six, episode, like, seven or something like that. But he literally... <laughs> Because Brian owes him money, and he's like, hey, uh, knock, knock. And he's like, Brian's like, who's there? You gonna pay me my money? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'll give it to you next Friday. I'll have it for you. And he's like, oh, I thought I said had it today. Have it today. And he's like, yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. And he's like, mm, oh, well, then. And he has a glass of orange juice, and he just sips it, like, drinks, like, chugs the whole thing in one sip. And he's like... Mm, that's good OJ and slams the cup on um it was glass cup again and he slams the glass cup on Brian's head and, and Brian's like ah what the hell and and then he's like Stewie's like yeah it don't feel so good does it huh yeah and he like kicks him in the stomach and punches him in the face multiple times lights him on fire shoots him in the kneecap beats him with a like like, I don't know, like a towel rack beats him with, um, a pool, like, a, not a pool, um, like a golf club. He just, like, he throws him downstairs. I, it's just so funny. And he drowns him, literally. Slams the toilet seat on his head. Just, it. I love, I just love Family Guy. Family Guy has always been one of my favorite shows. It has been my favorite show, since, but it, it has been, it was my favorite show ever since my favorite show came along. Or until my favorite show came along. But, yeah, that was my number two. Coming in. At number one, I finale, the finale, the Chucky show. Now, a lot of people, including you, Dom, if you're watching this, and you, Jazz, wouldn't expect that I would pick that for my favorite show, over Family Guy, Trailer Park Boys, The Walking Dead, Stranger Things, Bob Burgers, Rick and Morty, Marlin, The Fresh Prince, and South Park. You guys wouldn't expect that. But, yeah. I love the Chucky show, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the kissing at, like, basically my age. Because the actors are my age, and they're, like, kissing on the lips, and I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not that type of like I'm not the biggest fan of it. But I'm cool. I'm cool if you guys are gay and stuff. I don't care. But anyway. The Chucky show has so many good kills, including Liv Morgan in season two, and also that girl, I can't remember her name, the girl with the glasses and who pushes her out the window. He like, yeah, he pushes her out the window, and she, like, it was like a 
five-story building and they were on the top level. He pushed her out of the window and she just splat hit the ground. <laughs> and also in season one, like they killed off Jake's dad, and that was like very shocking. Very dark humor right there. Because he got puked. Because Chucky, like, chugged alcohol and puked it all over while his dad was checking the, um, oh my, the circuit breaker. And he was checking the circuit breaker and he just puked all over the electric electricity he got shocked yeah but still anyway I think I like season one better than season two though because season two kind of follows up with the cult of Chucky and you see the Chucky kind of the, I, I mean nothing wrong with the movies but that, that it's just like I I am not the biggest fan of the cult of Chucky. I mean, I like the scene of Chucky, don't get me wrong, but I think I've changed one of my favorites, Chucky movies. But I'll get on to that later in videos. But, yeah. The Chucky show is probably, well, actually, yeah, my favorite um, TV show of all time. And, yeah, I really like how Brad Dorif, like, he'll say, previously, I'm Chucky. Like, bef it sucks that they limited it to only 10 F words uh, episode. And he's like, he takes advantage of it, too. He's like... Previously on F and Chucky. It's just hilarious. It's funny. It's very funny. But, yeah. I would say that that's my favorite one. I also like the kill where Chucky pushes the maid onto the stacks of knives and her, like, it goes to her neck. Just brutal as hell. But, yes. That is my f top 10. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that big subscribe button and that juicy like button. Because if you hit the like button, a cool animation will happen. So, yeah. That about wraps it up. I'll see you guys in the next video.